This week's Who Would Win of the Week is Michael Myers versus Hannibal Lecter. Yes. Whew, dude, it was a little shaky. It was like, yeah. it starts with an H and just see what comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know why this is a cool one is because they're both, you know, Freaks. full psycho murderers, <laughs> yeah. and Michael Myers is a real. I mean, he's the he's the epitome of a slasher in the sense of like he's dead quiet and he uh, that slow walking to like catch up with people like doesn't have to run. Um, the it, what's interesting to me is. The intersections between these two guys, specifically the psychosis, like one of my favorite parts of Silence of the Lambs is there's that scene where Hannibal Lecter, uh, you know, bites off that guy's face while he's still attached to the heart monitor and his heart rate doesn't go up. That's very Michael Myers-esque, yeah. right? Like they are both full on psycho, but Hannibal Lecter is more of the gentleman psycho, if you will, right? Like he speaks very yeah. well. He's like yeah. an educated yeah. guy, and he wants to do. He do, he wants to kind of brain tease like the the people, like the you know the FBI, yeah, like the psychologists and stuff like that. Like he right. wants to kind of he he realizes that they're fascinated by him, and he wants to like right. Keep he wants that to. Web. He wants, he wants to play them the to be game. Fascinated. Yeah, he and he wants, wants to play the game where there's no game for Michael Myers. Yeah, he just he just killing. kills people. Yeah, he just be killing. Well, there is kind of a game because he just wants to kill what's her name, but he doesn't really want oh, to yeah. kill her. He just wants I to know, like, and that kind of is all like pushed in later a lot and stuff. Like they yeah. explore that a lot more, which is weird. But Michael Myers just straight like. But they have a connection because of that first night, though. Yes, that's, that's what true. it comes from. Right, right, right. You're yeah. right. You're right. Um, but um, Michael on that first night, though, I mean, the guy's just a killer. Oh yeah, my boy was just stabbing. The other thing, yeah, Michael Hannibal Myers Lecter is uh, very does a lot more with skin. That's obviously. true. Yep. Like, which I think is, uh, like, Michael just kind of kills people, even though he does it gruesomely. But then he just kind of leaves them. But you know what? There's that thing. Interesting, because Michael Myers, though, I maybe I should take back a little of what I said because there's that part. And again, I just watched the movie. I watched like this little making of type thing. But there's a part where um, he kills that guy with the glasses by oh my god! It's when he like uh, he stabs him in the chest, or he like lifts him up, stabs him, and so his body just like hanging there or yeah. whatever. So when that happens, right, they do a, cut to a wide shot, and Michael Myers is you know tilting his head, looking at it. It's really the most emotion we've ever seen yeah. him show. It's because he's he's admiring his work. That's yeah. what some guy in this thing oh, said. Yeah. So definitely is. There's a little more to Michael than meets the eye. No, I think uh, I think Michael, in his own right, is like very intelligent in the way that he does things. Like, yeah. I think the only time, and again, going back to like the new movies here, but like the only time you really see Michael get got is when they like trap him in that basement. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, in terms of that one versus, like, the original two, I would say. Because you got to think about it. I mean, the dude should not be difficult to catch. He's walking everywhere. <laughs> and he's, like, he's, just, he's always wearing the same clothes. Like, he's not hiding from anybody. Like, yeah. he's he's... He is available. He is out there for the taking. If you want to get in touch with Michael Myers, you it's very easy to do. Or so you think. But that's why it's like, well, you know, there's more than meets the eye. Like, And also, you're right, he never runs. So, like, he obviously is very intelligent in terms of, like, geography because he's caught. Like, never has to ask for directions. No, no, and he's taken, you know, you're running through the streets down the sidewalk and he's taking the back roads and he'll somehow end up in front of you already in your back, like, in your closet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, this is a tough battle. I think that the thing is, I think a big part of Hannibal Lecter's, like, murderousness is the psychological aspect. Um, and his ability to talk and sure. sound so like, because he thinks he's the smartest guy in the room all the time, right? Yeah. Whereas Michael Myers is like, dude, I I don't care what you have to say. Like, I am the greatest murderer of all time. He is the goat murderer. Like, right. he has Hall of Fame numbers. Like, he is the Michael Jordan of murdering. And I think there's also what we see from them. They're, I think the uh, the more we talk about this, the more I'm like, these are kind of exactly the same guys. However, Hannibal Lecter, styles. well, now I'm different styles for various reasons, for specific reasons, I think. And I want to get into that a little 
as we transition into, obviously, we got to touch on like the physicality of what this fight and how it's going to be. But if you look at them both and how they kill people, Hannibal Lecter, he is an older guy. He's got kind of a frailer frame. He does have to be a little more intelligent about how he kills people. He has to kind of dexter it a little bit. Like, I feel as though Hannibal Lecter is a little more of like the chloroform, you know, and then yeah, fucking well, he's cut trying him up, to protect whatever. the skin. Right, right, right. Whereas Michael, because he's a, such a big dude, uh, he really does not have to waste any time with quote unquote pleasantries or things when he's murdering someone. He can just get right down to fucking business. Let's get down. Let's get down, down to business. business. Yeah, mm-hmm. I lo- that's that song better than fucking Obvious. anything Train's ever done. No, that's not true. Maybe not Drops of Jupiter, yeah. but fucking Hey Soul Sister, hey, 100%. Hey, hey, hey. Drops of Jupiter is good. That she's back from the atmosphere. But the physicality is really what's going to put Michael over on this one because he is just so, so big, and Hannibal Lecter yeah. is just a little too small My boy for is him. a beast. Like, yeah. And he does, like, again, you could shoot him, stab him, light him on fire, impale him. You could probably cut him in half, and I he think, would somehow still be walking around. Oh, yeah, and I think it'd be a cool fight. It's two guys who... You know, one, once Hannibal Lecter's back think, is against the wall, he is going to go nuts. Like, I think that I, I think that like the pre-fight uh, media like hour would be a lot better than the fight itself. Like a lot more, not not better, but like a lot cooler because Hannibal Lecter would be like trying to talk, and Michael would just be like, "It'd be very McGregor Mayweather." And then on the flip side of it, <laughs> I would love like, once to they s- got in the ring, like Michael just. It walk boom. towards him, and like if Hannibal Lecter like tried to do something, oh, Michael would just keep walking like until there was like nowhere else to walk, and then just tap, tap, tap. Yeah, so I think be, just because of that br- brute force, I think is yeah. what gives Michael and the he edge can't here. Be, like, as far as we know, as he far really as we know, he can't be killed. Yeah, so I don't know, but he is superhuman, and we don't really ever know why. Which is I like because I hate I hate the Halloween movies or moments where they start to get a little mix mystical. It it takes a it takes away a lot from yeah the, like he kind of is mystical but they kind of are sometimes like yeah we don't understand it yeah which but uh, you know but he it's better if I thing. think it's better if you just never address it at all because it's like yeah, yeah when it, you know That's we true. know it's fake um so let's lock in Michael for this I'm gonna one, take huh? Michael Myers a fun fight though a fight that I really oh, yeah. really like and oh, I yeah. think you got to give Hannibal credit where credit's due but Mike is just he's a beast he's too big of a guy I would love I would love to go watch. Yeah, Halloween. that's a great. That's a great one, though. <laughs>